Okay, this is my third attempt at recording this guide. I have recorded it without audio and then recorded the whole thing without recording. So at this point, I should have no hiccups. We're teaching uh, pivot swaps. What is a pivot swap? It is tapping weapon art, locking on, either unequipping or swapping the weapon that you tapped weapon art with and closing your menu. That's the whole swap. That's what it is, but you do it real fast. Um, the reason it works is because uh, if you notice when you tap weapon art normally, when you go into your inventory, the gray screen is there right away. See that? Gray screen. Gray screen. If you tap weapon art and lock on and you do it fast enough getting into your inventory, you have a little window. See that little window? That is the window that you have to do a pivot swap in. Uh, pivot swap will work with any weapon or any spell that you can walk while doing. So you can do it with any stance weapon because you can walk while doing the stance. Um, you can do it with a pyromancy flame on the sacred flame because well, you can move while doing sacred flame. I tried to do it right there and I messed it up. But you can see you can move while doing sacred flame. So uh, how to get started? There are four tiers of difficulty with it. You have um, the main hand unequip, which would be the easiest, which is tapping weapon art, locking on. Then unequipping your weapon. I'm doing it slow here so that you can see what I'm doing, but normally you do it very fast and it would do an actual swap. Um, the next difficulty is the offhand unequip, which is the same thing, but you're going to two-hand your two-hand your offhand weapon. And then we're, same thing except for you have to you have to do one extra input to tap lock on or weapon art, lock on, and then go down and then unequip. Uh, those two are the easiest. They aren't very useful. You can't do much with them. The only use that I know for it is you can, for instance, you could start with the, with your weapon with your hands bare, and uh, from here you could, like, while doing weapon arts, you could swap to something useful. So you could, like, R2, swap, R1, and now you're doing the burger flip with a profane. profane. But that's... The whole point of this is to is to be able to do a, a burger flip or a, a swap on on a dime without having to do any build up, so it's not reactable. So that kind of beats the purpose. So the first two are for learning with. I would recommend going through them as tiers of difficulty for practicing. But in in in, in real PvP, it's not really useful. So then the second hardest one is the main hand swap, and I think it's also the most useful. Again, it's the same thing except for you're swapping your main hand instead of unequipping it look like this and this is one that I use in invasions a lot you just instantly get a burger flip out there um, you can also do it the with like I said I like to use the sacred flame I won't explain why this does a bunch of damage but this is a one shot that will take somebody's health bar several times over if you can land it you can swap the sacred flame onto a um, any any weapon that has a two-hit backstab, so like a Cestus or a hammer or, or an ultra. Um, I won't. I, I, if you want to know why that works, let me know. Uh, get a hold of me. I'm not going to do it in this video. This is the basics. Um, and then the hardest one and probably the least useful. Uh, well, not. It has uses. The only one that I that I that I was able to think of. Well, actually, Bionic Soul thought of it, and he's also the one who taught me all this. Came up with it. I mean, he deserves all the credit for this. I'm just doing a guide because people keep asking me. But um, if you don't know Ryanic Soul, it's, uh, I might put the text on the screen here, but I doubt this video is going to spread much, so I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, credit goes to him for teaching this. Anyways, uh, he came up with an idea for the offhand swap, which is that you could swap, uh, you could put Great Magic Shield onto a weapon in your offhand because you can only cast... While you can pivot swap any spell, you can only cast Great Magic Shield on something in your offhand. So he put Great Magic Shield on a PKCS, and all of a sudden his PKCS had infinite stability. And it's broken as hell, but um, uh, the offhand swap is incredibly difficult. And I'm not going to teach it here. I have to get very warmed up to do it, and it's just not worth it. So if you want to learn it, um, get, get a hold of me. I'd be, I'd be happy to... If you have questions about why things work the way they do for the swap, I'd be happy to talk with you about it. It's just too much for a guide. Um, so, what else? Um, so now, actually learning. How do you go about learning it? Uh, start with the main hand on equip. And all you're going to practice starting out 
is uh, just try to get that window. Try to get fast enough getting into your, oh, not that. Try to get fast enough getting into your inventory that you see that little window. Once you're there, all you gotta do is don't worry about closing your inventory or anything. Just try to unequip. Just try to do this. See how I get that little waggle with my hands empty? That means that you've done the swap fast enough. And all you would have to do is, uh, so, so those inputs are all you have to do with inside that little window of no gray screen. Um, from then on, you have until your until that little waggle animation ends, you have to close your menu and do whatever kind of weapon art you want to do or whatnot. Like, like uh, the little waggle. Let's see if I can get it again without closing my menu. So that little waggle animation. You have that whole duration to close your menu and do whatever else you need to do to get your weapon art swap going. So um, I would just practice staying in your menu, unequipping, getting to that point. See, I have trouble not closing my menu. Um, and then worry about closing your menu and everything else. Um, if you get that down and you're ready to move up, you could do. You could practice the offhand unequipping. My keybinds aren't set up to do it right now. I can't do it for you, unfortunately. Um, but it is the exact same inputs. It's tap weapon art, lock on, go down, and then swap your weapon. Or unequip your weapon. And it'll work exactly the same. Like I said, it's pretty useless. Then when, you could skip that one if you'd like to and move directly to the main hand. I don't know. I, I, I've, that's, I learned by going through all the tiers of difficulty. I don't know that you need to. Um, you may just want to skip to the main hand swap after learning the main hand unequip. Main hand swap, again. Same, tech, same, technically the same inputs except for swapping weapons. So, weapon art, lock on, uh, then swap weapon instead of unequipping it. So, weapon art, lock on, swap weapon. But, um, if you're trying to do it, and then when you get it fast enough, it'll look like this. Oh, I unequipped. <laughs> it'll look like that in your inventory. You get that little waggle there. Um, if I close my menu at that point, I would have gotten the full swap. But that, getting to that point in your inventory where you get that little that little waggle animation, that means you've done the whole swap fast enough. And like I said, you have the whole time until your sword gets back to your shoulder and you're resting again to then close your, your menu and do whatever else you want to do. Um, so the steps of learning this one, I would recommend first um, since you're already you've already you're already fast enough to see that window in your in your inventory from practicing the offhand unequip, at this point I would recommend trying to get into your weapon menu fast enough. So if you do it fast enough, it'll look like this. In your in your weapon menu. If you do it too slow, you'll get a message saying that you could, can't swap at this time because you did it inside the gray screen. Like that. Um, don't trick yourself by going too. I mean. Obviously, you go as slow as you need to while practicing, but you can go too slow, and you'll get the regular gray screen to go away. So if I go too slow, if I go super slow, it'll look like this. Oh, oh, not slow enough. See there, then the gray screen goes away, and you can swap, but you won't actually get pivot swap. It's just a regular weapon swap at that point. Um, so that's what I recommend practicing, is is uh, the, tier, the, the first step would be getting into your weapon menu. And then I would recommend practicing staying in your menu, but swapping your weapon. So there I was too slow. I got into my weapon menu, but by the time I clicked, it was stopping me from swapping. Um, but if you do it fast enough, you'll get this animation. And that's the whole swap. Practice this. This is the point you want to get to consistently for being able to do pivot swaps. Um, once you're there, you can worry about closing your menu, and you have that whole animation to uh, to decide if you want to do an R1 or an R2. Um, if you aren't holding weapon art at this point, you'll want to press it again before you close your menu so that you stay in your stance. I tend to hold weapon art the whole time so that it's already going by the time I close my menu. Um, but that's about it. Uh, I'm not going to teach the offhand swap, so... I think that's the whole. I think that's the whole guide. I don't know. Uh, it's at least a start. Let me know if you got questions. I guess I'm gonna put this on my YouTube's because I don't know where else to put it. So I'll 
I'll see y'all later. Third time's the charm.